big city showdown day one. I hope you all enjoy the video. There's going to be a lot of cinematics. I'll probably talk with a couple people um, that I like their builds and maybe go over a couple trucks. But I hope you all enjoy the video.
All right, guys, we are back from our maiden voyage at uh, Music City. Had a great time, got to see some great people, and also got to meet a lot of y'all. So, huge thank you to anyone that came by the booth to grab some merch, talk to us, and just hang out and check out the trucks. Uh, had a really, really good time. We were fortunate enough to be able to get this truck done and somehow take home the best Ram trophy. That's cool. Trophies don't really matter, but it's still cool to, you know, get recognition for a truck that we had a lot of time in. I mean, me and the guys and everyone involved had a lot of, lot of time in this truck. So let's get everything unloaded. And then I want to give you all like a final look at the big truck. I feel like we kind of got it halfway done in that last video. And then we weren't like able to just full on show you all all the little details. So let's get it off the trailer. All right, guys. So I'm going to take a second to kind of tell you everything about it. I've got Bub here. Uh, I'm back from running around buying trucks and being whatever I am, I guess. Um, we're going to take a second to look over everything at the truck and kind of explain what was and wasn't done um, at the show. We were cool enough to take home a trophy. Best successful. Best deception. Yeah, if you remember that, you know. But if you don't know, you don't know. Um, we still need park sensors and some other stuff painted. We got to do the wheel wells. That's kind of our thing, the painted wheel wells. We got to do it. Especially with how big this one is. I'm not really worried about rock chips because of how tall it is. But from everything from the Alpha Rex headlights, from 2-3 designs um, that have been color matched and taken apart and completely put back together, the Overkill Fab grill that's light up, um, Diego did all the fab work on the truck as far as cutting the lift. We did all the install, the finish welding, and the final work. Um, he just cut it out, welded it up, and we went and picked it up. He did a great job. Honestly, the lift fit really well. Before powder. Before powder. And then Chad had to go and make everything, everything you know, another 16th thick, and then nothing fit. It was at least like five millimeters, yeah. Yeah, he, like, he, he added some thickness to it, but... Uh, kind of to go over to the front, we got Diego's cool over mounts, and we designed these like little stops that bolt into the factory shock mount to hold the resi. I actually thought that turned out really clean. Um, just a very, very simple way to mount the resi with some billet clamps. I like it. Uh, we got to paint the fender wells, like I said, and we have to finish the rock lights. We do have these frame overlays from Rimshell Customs. Um, the bumper is a chassis unlimited bumper for anyone that doesn't know. And then... The hood stack was actually built by Joy Designs, and he's going to be doing some more work for us here soon. He did a great job. We do have to finish it, though. And we still need to do a lot of wiring. We still got to wire the Mid-South LED sequential uh, switchback door handles. We've already got the wires ran. We do need to finish wiring them, though. We kind of ran out of time. Everyone at the show was kind of wondering why we didn't have the doors open, because everyone wanted to see the shifter. Um, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's show them why we didn't have the doors open, Bubba. Now, Gavin, nobody knew this, but half the interior is out of the truck, but it made it. Y'all wanted to see it. <laughs> Y'all wanted to see the exterior. The interior doesn't really matter. No, I mean, it just mattered when I was driving it because <laughs> I was like driving it and I couldn't even get in the truck hardly because there's no handles or nothing. And then we also didn't have time to put our steps on. So did a lot of temporary stuff to get it to the show. So if you saw anything and you're like, wow, that's, that's awful. Um, Keep in mind, we were running on no sleep, running out of parts, and ran out of time. Um, the steps, honestly, we probably could have got them on if we had the motors yeah. in time, but we didn't have the motors in time. So, no big deal, though. I'm not blaming that on anyone, just kind of saying, like, we, we genuinely did not have time for that. Um, Tobin got her all detailed up at the show, as you saw in the cinematics. Um, we've got these rigid wide out lights that turned out really really good they are a little bit of a shade different than the truck so i might paint them i'm not sure yet they are pretty dang close they are very very close but i think we're picky enough to where we're deciding like ah do we paint it so because this thing is going to sema we want it to be quality and we need to talk wyatt behind you and you're going to sema yes. yeah let's take that one it's already been once it needs to go back um so yeah we got the full resurrected kit uh air dog <laughs> somebody said something about how dirty the air dog filters were air dog actually sent us brand new filters for the truck well, we did because um, we thought that it was going to be here yeah yeah so they sent them, us brand new filters and as we were loading the truck on the trailer and i was pulling out the, yeah the yeah. ups man delivered them and i was like well that's some timing if if anyone complains about dirty filters i mean i don't really know what to tell you um big shout out to the guys over at driveline plus 
we had every problem in the world with drive shafts and we still made the show because this man stayed up till three o'clock in the morning the night before um also shout out to paula for driving it up there or, or my mother sorry she doesn't like when i call her paula she said something the other day about that um i just try not to label label her as my mother on camera but i guess yeah it's my mom let's just call her mom everybody calls her mom everybody calls her mom anyways you should see her at the show she's a, practically a superstar they come to see her nothing else she does have her own fan base she's gonna replace us all she is yeah um but yeah so we got some white wire loom and stuff coming to reloom all these harnesses and plugs uh, i wasn't really a huge fan of it we we made them look as pretty as we could with what we had, but our loom didn't come in in time. Um, we also are gonna make some frame overlays for the truck and finish it up. Uh, most of the paintwork is done. We do need to find someone to finish painting the truck. Um, and we do need to make some, some tweaks and stuff. Uh, the tailgate looks great. Love the whole no handle thing. I think it's really different. A lot of people at the show really, really like that. And then as far as from the back, this is actually what we got complimented on the most at the show, like the rear truss setup. Like just the two trusses with the track bar in the center and the bags, like it just looks phenomenal. Um, and then the white wheels, of course, yeah. because we're gangsters. Tuck the airlines. Tuck the airlines, yeah. Yeah, we do need to finish our air management. Um, we have quite a bit left to do. So if you saw it at the show, it looks great. It's not done. So we have our whole air management system. Uh, our polished tank came in. Uh, the guys are going to get the interior back in. The door handle's wired. And then I have Greg over at 110 uh, Machining cutting us a billet FP shifter handle. And he is dying to gold plate it. So I'm going to let him gold plate it. So uh, I'm not a big gold person, but he just thinks it'll be gangster and I'm down to see it. So really, really happy with how this came out. Bubba, me, uh, Brian, and my mom. I mean... We really, those last two days, we, we had a lot of hours in it. We were dead Friday. Yeah, yeah. I got to the show with all the trucks, and I got them unloaded. I just sat there like, can I go home? <laughs> um, but we barely even set up our booth Friday for Music City. But Music City was actually a really good time. I think you would have enjoyed that show, Bob. You got you to gotta come next year because it's so close. If we don't stay up all night the night before, maybe. Honestly, I probably could have talked you into coming if we hadn't pulled the all-nighter. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, love the way the resi mount turned out. Frame overlays look great from Rimshell Customs. As far as the truck goes, I mean, she's, like I said, 95%. We just got to do that last five and all the fine tuning. And we got to figure out how to get a front drive shaft in this bastard. We need spike lug nuts. We look poor. Yeah. Yeah, we do look. Hey. They spin, though. What about the daily? Okay, don't call the dually out. You saw Brenton's TikTok, did, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. We're poverty. Brenton, right Brenton had to walk up to us and see if they spun. Um, shout out to him for that. <laughs> he did call us out on the dually though, because I was hoping he'd be like, "Yeah, just we'll just do the single cab in the big truck." Walks right over to the dually and just just you know had to put some shame on us. So I'm gonna have to call Chris over at JTX and order some plotters for it. But everything looks good on the truck. We do have to get some final details done. We do need to do an alignment on it because um, we never had a chance to do that. So the steering wheel is sitting a little sideways. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we didn't really have time for. Also, we need to show everybody the engine bay. I don't think we've ever showed it since it's been done. We got a ladder? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am going to need a ladder. I think I, mm, I, yeah, I can stand on the little one. Yeah. Our maiden voyage up the ladder. <laughs> Woo wee! All right, guys. Yep. Yep. We got our fuse box cover, our fender braces. Um, got the 2G swap, coolant tank, and our new valve cover from King Speed. But yeah, that's pretty much everything in the engine bay. We are gonna redo some of the hood stack. I don't really love how the hood stack looks. Um, so we are gonna redo some of that and we have some wiring to do. But uh, I thought the engine bay turned out really good. I mean, it, as good as it can be, we're gonna probably design like a mirror to put on the hood. That way we can start selling y'all mirrors. Cause I cannot tell you how many questions I had about mirrors. We have to have it cause you can't see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause this was all useless unless we do something. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to kind of make this build match the new build. Yeah. But I think the new build needs two turbos. I think the new build just needs to be driver. You can drive with two turbos. You can, you can but we're going to be blue truck 2.0. Yeah, but I don't want to put fuel on it. Well. 
I'll pound I'm stock down. fuel. I'm down. He said, I'm down to watch you fuck up your new truck. Yeah, you kill it. I'll hey, watch. hey, man, yeah. All right, well, uh, I think that's it for this video. Just kind of wanted to show y'all everything we could. Um, oh, my God, this is so high. There's the hood stack, by the way, from Joy Designs. It has a titanium ring, and it is stainless, and it looks sick. We've just got to redo our part of it. So, all right, bub, come hit the camera or something. or All right, that'll work. See you, bye.